Hello and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So we continue and we start adding uh, courses this time. So this is most complicated part of the website, the adding of courses, because it's the main thing. So some things and concepts may get very complex at this point. So please, if um, you have any issues, uh, leave a comment or watch the video several times until you understand what's going on. Okay, so we'll start simple and then we'll build up to something more complex. So what we would do is let's uh, study Udemy itself since we are trying to copy uh, what it does and let's see what we can get from there. So I'm logged in to my account here on Udemy as an instructor and there's a page here where I can create a new course, of course. So I've, I was testing a few courses here. So let's see what it presents us with. So if I click new course, uh, it sends me to a page where I, uh, it asks me, let's find out the type of course you're making. But for us, we will not have this because this will just be the default. Uh, no need for this. This you can create on your own once you learn the uh, basic principles, uh, because this tutorial is really about just teaching you the principles of how to code. So we click on this, of course, and continue. So it says a working title. So let's create a title here. So let's let's take its uh, suggestion for, for example, there, Photoshop, and then continue. What category best fits uh, the knowledge you will share? So there's a list of categories here and we're going to copy this. So what we'll do at this point is just right click and because we don't, I don't want to have to type this manually. So I'll just inspect, then uh, go to the select in the inspector, right click and say copy outer HTML. Let's go to our text editor and just a new file or it doesn't have to be a new file, just paste. So that we can copy from within here. Okay. So we asked for the title and the category. Those are the most important things here. So let me choose, I don't know yet, or I don't know. Let's try IT and software and click continue. How much time can you spend creating the course per week? Uh, I don't know why this is relevant. Maybe it's part of uh, the information on the course, but let's select one of these and then create course. Okay. So after you create the course, then it's going to load this part here, which is the most complex part of this thing. And we're going to study this. So the first thing is intended learner. So we're going to have a similar copy of this thing here. So we'll be making reference to this so that we create these tabs. Some of these tabs are just full of information like course structure here. It's just some tips. There's nothing really for the user to enter. So we're going to be skipping some of those because you can easily add those tabs and just add information. There's no need, uh, there's nothing there to teach and maybe set up and test video. Same thing here, it really just has links and stuff. So here we just get this one, plan your course, uh, intended learners, uh, create your content. And then there's this, this is also just information. Let's go to curriculum. I think this is where the meat of the matter is, where you create um, a section and then you add content. So if I click on content here to add content, you see there's a video, a video slide or article video and slide or article or something like that. So what we'll do is we're going to have this one and this one, just so we have two of these. I will not put this one here because I don't want to complicate things. I want you to get the basics without making it over complex. So we'll add video, maybe article, that would be fine. And uh, yes, so that when you click on video, uh, then you can uh, select a video here and it will begin the upload process. 
Well, let's close that. Add content. Let's see article, and then you can type something. So this is uh, easy enough. Let me close that. Okay, so we will copy this thing here and create it. So there'll be a lot of JavaScript here going on because you see these things happen in real time. The page does not refresh, which means a lot of JavaScript was used. So we're going to use the same process as well. Okay, great, great. Also, there's a drag and drop. You can drag these to other sections and move things around. So we'll see how to implement that as well. All righty then. Uh, let's go to captions, optional. So I will not put this either. So, so far we just have intended learners and curriculum as the tabs. And then let's go to publish your course. This one has important information because there's course description, course title, uh, etc., etc. So this is important here. So, so far we have three of these. Let's go to pricing. Pricing, same thing also is important because we get to select a tier. Uh, the prices are set here, so there's just levels of pricing here. This helps Udemy decide when they give a discount, which courses will have that discount because they can just select to say tier four uh, courses will all be discounted to this much because they already know the amount. Uh, that way they don't give the user the option to, uh, to add a random amount here because that makes it difficult to add coupons and all sorts of things. So we're going to copy this system as well. Let's look at promotions here. What do we have? So let's see. Uh, anytime a student uses this link, we will credit you with the sale. Okay. So this is nice as well. Um, this creates a link to for your own promotion, I guess. Okay, so you can just click copy. I think this is important as well. So we'll do something here. You cannot create coupons for a free course. All right, that's that's fine. Uh, no coupon. Okay, so I haven't seen this tab before. This is the first time I'm seeing it. So I will study this. It looks like this is where you create coupons from. Okay, no problem. If uh, Because right now I don't have a course that's actually published on Udemy. So I don't really know how this section works at all. So if I finally, I'll be able to figure it out, then we're going to add it there. Okay, let's look at course messages. Yes, this one looks uh, important. We can have a welcome message for the user, uh, the student, and then a congratulatory message when they complete the course. So no problem, this one will be added. Then we have a submit for review button here uh, so that this should be reviewed by the admins of the website before it's published. So no problem, we'll add to that as well. So yeah, let's begin since we have the basic information, let's get started. So to begin with, uh, let's just make sure the page exists where we create uh, our courses from, okay? So I'm going to, I'm going to click here. So you see what happens here uh, is that this course is considered a draft. So for it to have a link here, it already has a link from the beginning so that when you add content to this, you can actually preview this course in you as you're creating it so that you know exactly what you are creating on the other side. The preview button isn't here yet, but if I add a few details here, I guess, and click save, uh, that should bring up the, the preview button. I guess it's not, it's not here yet. Maybe if I go to the next, next. Anyway, eventually it does show up. So this means this thing is saved already from the beginning as a draft. Okay, so we need to do that. This is why it asks you information in the beginning uh, about the title and the category and so on and so forth. So those things are the things we should start with. So what we're going to do is let's go to our uh, section here. Let's just make sure the page exists for courses. And this page is just going to have a table of courses that you have created down here. So we just put those in a table format. Uh, 
So looking at the original template here, we have components and we have um, tables. Let's go to general tables. So let's choose one of these tables that we can use to display our uh, courses. So let me see here. I think the first one is fine. I don't have any objects, maybe this one here. So I'm just going to right click and inspect the element and try to select until I see what I want. So there's card body, there's card here, and then there's this and there's that. So at some point it escapes from where I want. So I'll go one level down, which is this one. And I'm going to copy this guy, copy outer HTML. Okay, and let's go and create our page. So on this side, we need, when we click on my courses, instead of seeing the dashboard, we see the actual page. So to do this, we'll leave this one as it is. I'm going to go to app and controllers because we need to create a controller for that. But I've copied some content, so I want to first create a view. So I'm going to, so that I can paste that information I have. So I'll go to views and this is the admin section and we have profile view here. Uh, but what I want to do is create a new one. So I'm going to right click new file and uh, paste. Save this file as courses.view dot php and save okay so just like with profile it has the header so i'm going to copy the header over here go to the very top maybe i should have started with the bottom since i was already there and added a footer but this is fine let's add our header there and let's go down and let's add our footer yes uh -huh. make sure you change this to footer down here like so all right so this won't show yet because we need to actually include it to the list so i'm going to go to uh, admin.php in the controllers and let's look at so we have profile here the profile function but let's add another function here which is courses so i'm just going to duplicate this and add my brackets like so, okay? So what I'll do is, uh, just to make sure that somebody's logged in before they do this, I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste there, like so, okay. Right, great, and let's change this to courses. All right, good. And then um, what else do we need here? I think for now this is fine. We just need the part that uh, loads the page itself. So copy that and let's put that here. And this one is admin courses. Alrighty then. So we have that and that should work. And if I now refresh, uh, okay, I get a problem here. It says undefined variable data on line 33. So let's see what's going on. Line 33 is this one. It doesn't know what data is because we haven't given it a default value. So this is okay. What we can do is just say data is equal to an empty array like this. But instead, what I should do probably is just make this thing optional on the... Oh no, it is optional, but here I'm adding it. So... Yeah, it should be like this. Okay, great. So there we go, that should solve our problem. And let me refresh, and there we go. But it seems I took too much information here. So let me go back and get just what I needed. So inspect again, I think I took too much from there. It should just be the current card, not the whole thing. I didn't see that it was grabbing the whole column, so let me just grab this card here and then just say copy out HTML. Let's come back to the courses view. Let's remove everything in the center. Or I could just delete what I need to delete here. But why not? Let me just paste what I need. I've already copied it, so that's fine. I'll just hit 
paste. This is much smaller. So it's just the title and the table itself up to there. Okay, great. So back here, refresh, and this is what we get. Okay, so let's change that title to say my courses so that it corresponds to that section there, no problem. So let's say my courses, great. This is going well.